random things you find when you drop kids. Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever shower tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create an image rollover effect in Shower 5. So the effect that I'm wanting to go for, I want to have an image that when you hover over it, it reveals some text behind the image in a nice little box. So the first thing we need to do is add the image to the media library. So we, to do this, we come over to the site tab and we want to go to media library. And then I've got an image on the desktop that I'm just going to drag into our media library. Wait for it to upload and then just drag this back out again. So, so we're finished with that now. It's in the media library. We can use this again in a minute. So just shut that down. Okay, so now I want to start building up what's going to be behind the image when you hover over it. So I just want to make a perfectly square box with a bit of a board around the edge of it and then some text in the middle saying what the image is. So to do this, I'm going to go to the add an element icon down at the bottom of the screen. I want to add a rectangle. And then if we come across to this page tab, and I'm just going to rename this by double clicking on it, I'm just going to name this background. And save. Okay, so we'll come across to our shape style next. And I want to change the colour, so let's go with like this bluish colour. And then if we come across to size and position, and I want to make it 300 by 300, so to make it a perfect square. Okay, so next I'm going to put the border in around, just around the edge of this box. So if we come back down to add an element, and I want to add a rectangle again. And then on this one, if we go to make it, well, that box is 300 by 300, so we'll say this one 270 by 270, so it's it's a perfect square, but slightly smaller. Just drag that in there a little bit, and then I'm going to go to shape style and I want to make the border color white and increase the border size to about four and then I'm going to change the color of the middle of the box to transparent by clicking that okay so there we go that's in there now we can line all this up in a minute so don't worry too much about this at the moment we'll put the text in and then we'll line it all up properly I'm just going to rename this one as well, just to keep on top of what we're doing so we know which elements we're working with. So if I double click on that, and I'll just call this one border. And save. Okay, so at this point, I just want to make you aware that if you click away from the element that you're working on, you'll end up with this canvas tab. So a couple of ways you can select the element that you're working on is to, you can either click on it, or if it's behind an image, you can come across to this on the left. It sort of works similar to Photoshop, the way it layers things up. So I can select the background just by clicking on background or border. Next, I want to add some text to the box. So I'm just going to come down to add text, go to paragraph. we we'll just drag this, make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to say what the image is. So in our case, we've got the library building in Liverpool. And then I just want to make that text a little bit bigger, center it and make it white. So if we just come across to textile, we click on the text color, make that white, increase the size to around, go to 26. And then I'm just going to come to a line, justify center. Let's just drag this box down slightly, get the text in. Okay, so I'm finished with this now. I just need to align it all together. Um, and then we can start putting the image over the top. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is come across then to the to select the three tabs. So if we just press Command, keep hold of it, and just select the three tabs. And then we want to come across to Alignment. And under this Align to Group, we just want to go Center, which is this icon, and then Center. So that's it. We're done with that now. If we just, to make it easier to line the image up over the top of it, we just drag and select. And then once again, under this alignment, we want to align center to the canvas. So it's slap bang in the middle of the canvas. And that's it, we're done with that part now. So next thing we do is add the image to the top. And we do this by going down to the media library. 
and the image that we uploaded earlier, we just need to click on that and then come across to our to page. So that's right over the image now. So what we're going to do is just resize this to the same size as the background. So it was 300 by 300. And then once again, center to the canvas. So we want to middle and middle again. So that's right over the background now. And we can adjust the position of the image as well in this box by going across to image. And then position. And we just change this up or down depending on which way you want the image to be seen so just change that so we've got the building right in the middle and then next thing we want to make the hover animation so if we just make sure the image is selected by clicking on the image or clicking over there where it says graphic and um, we can change that to image if we wanted and then we want to go to hover and then type we're just going to put custom and then we want to drop the opacity to zero and then the time up or down depending on how quick you want the transition to happen i'm just going to leave that at 0 0.5 if you wanted to move this around the page then at all you could just again highlight it all and then just drag it to wherever you wanted it all as one piece and then if we go to preview once it's finished saving and there we go we've got our image roll over to some text just a nice little effect especially if you're working on a page with lots and lots of images and you wanted to put a bit of information about the image but you didn't want to have lots of text on the page it just hides it and gives you a bit of variation of what you can do with your design so if you found this video useful if you did leave us a thumbs up below if you're not already please do consider subscribing for more squarespace tutorials show it tutorials anything tutorials um and hopefully i'll see you in the next video see ya